welcome back to Mouse to House Campers folks. Here today we have a 1996 Mazda Bongo with the auto electric free top and wait for it it's only done 41,000 kilometers which equates divide by 1.6 so it's circa about 26, 27,000 miles. That's fully backed up by all the MOT history. Feel free to check it online. Just go on and do an MOT check using that registration number. And that'll verify. The last MOT, no advisories. Well, the MOT inspector said occasional seat, rear seat with no seat belt. I'll show you the occasional rear seat, why on earth an MOT inspector would feel necessary to write that on an advisory, I don't know. And there's the occasional seat. Obviously it's a rear seat. Why would that need a seat belt? Well, there you go. Check the MOT history. The bodywork is absolutely fantastic. None of the common problems on these, i.e. rusted sills or wheel arches, all solid, beautiful condition, sills, outer sills, inner sills, wheel arches, under the bonnet, we'll have a quick look, of course the engine on these is under the passenger seat for access. three batteries on this, a spur leisure battery which is in the rear, so two under the bonnet, and one more in the rear. So bodywork there's nothing really detrimental to mention other than if you've been super super critical and I mean critical, in fact I'm struggling to, we're just being silly now and pedantic tiny little mark. I think there was a tiny little mark I mentioned to be fair on the bumper. I don't think you go to the trouble of painting the bumper but it's going to be touching nicely. And the only thing to mention is on the electric roof. When you pop the electric roof in that's got a little bit of play in it and as you can see it's caused a crack. When the electric roof comes down, that folds forward flat. So I would suggest it needs some sort of adjusting on the runners. Certainly can't be anything major, but if you want to have it absolutely 100% perfect, the roof, as I say, operates up and down perfectly well and dry as you can see the canvas. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if that roof has never been see how that material has ever been in the weather that's probably why I bet the grease has worn out and it's just been stiff and just caused a bit of a crack so that's the only thing to mention on the outside right got remote control central locking only one key I'm afraid The last two owners was father and son. Father bought it for his retirement. Unfortunately, due to family circumstances, had to sell it, but son couldn't bear to be parted with it. So he carried it on and used it as his own vehicle for a couple of years, as he wasn't doing much of a mileage. Just start her up. So what you do, press the button on the remote control, the immobiliser. I'll just demonstrate the electric rear blinds. That's just a mat to protect it because it's so nice. It's an over mat over the lino finish. As 
about that. Switch the engine off. Overmat over the overmat. Spotless. So 41,000 kilometres. I drove it 300 mile back and it drives absolutely perfect. This is the four-wheel drive diesel version. I think the only fault I could find was the driver's side electric mirror. So the passenger side adjusts electrically as well as folds in. But the driver's side one doesn't adjust. Electric windows, central locking all working. That might just need actually, it might be lack of use. It might just need adjusting or oiling. I don't think it'd be no hardship to locate a second hand electric mirror. I could organise that if you wished. That can be part of the negotiations on price. There's plenty of these around for sale, but not in this condition, and certainly not with that mileage. I'd be happy to deliver this anywhere in the country before payment is asked. So you can have a good inspection, test drive, make sure it's for you. It can have a new MOT and service before delivery. So it'll want for nothing. And if you're happy, just pay me by the usual methods and I'll get the train back. Absolutely spotless. So yeah, so the conversion very good idea if you fold the, the front passenger seat forward as follows just put over there and that creates a rear facing seat rock and roll bed under bed storage matching upholstery cushions Lap belts, so down in there, it's a bit difficult with the uh, lack of light, but there is another leisure battery in there. Two gas burner hob, again, spotless. Cold running water. Electric Waco fridge. Again, spotless. Gas bottle. Upstairs, which can be used as a bedroom for two small children. That falls down like that, and you can push that so we've got lots of headroom I don't think that's been used in 20 years that roof there's not a mark on it control panel 
mains electric, pocket cable, mini wardrobe, nice table, you need you've got your leveling ramps again large under bed storage table fill out board for the bed just quick on latches up two of those and that folds forward and flat fresh water and there you have it so a quite unusual 22 year old master bongo 2.5 turbo diesel automatic four-wheel drive extremely rare to get one on this mileage they've normally done high mileages because of the size of them people use them as their own vehicle so they use them as a car first and as a camper secondary but in this occasion it's obviously been stored underneath and inside for this condition and all the mileage stacks up correctly it's guaranteed on the Vosa website check yourselves online so I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the country even consider a part exchange car motorbike camper motorhome just ring me up to discuss, 9am till 9pm, seven days a week.